Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 day challenge 5.0. Today is day 12. Yesterday we introduced the tasks applet, and today we're going to dive further into it to show you how you can create actual tasks inside of that tasks applet. So let's click on the tasks applet number three down here. And you can see on the right hand side, we have the ability to create a new task. So this is option number one. And essentially when I come in, I can put in the task name. So it might be um, follow up on missing T47, one, two, three Main Street, right? That might be a uh, example of an opportunity task, or it might be just um, call Mike Hillary congrats on maps success all right and i can call mike but i'm actually going to be traveling so let's say i'll be back in town let's say tuesday the first and uh, i don't want to do that all day i want to have a specific time that i need to call mike doesn't want me to call him at 5 a.m so let's call him at 2 p.m and congrats on uh, new maps clients boom there you go so if i have a hyperlink i could do that right so this task might not be a call task it might be a uh, comment on mike's facebook page and then i could put a hyperlink for mike's facebook page i can also associate contacts so if i wanted to do that i could come in and decide okay are i pulling those contacts from the team or from my personal and then i can search for Mike's contact and here's Mike and I would say yep that's who I want to associate with that click on it and now you can see that the assigned contact is Mike Hillary and I would then click on create that task and now I have a future task that will show up so if I do next seven days you can see that that's due on June 1st here's the task name and here is the contact associated so that's number one, same thing here inside of opportunity tasks. Basically you have the ability to set these tasks from your opportunities pipeline. And that's basically, I would come into opportunities. This is getting us a little bit ahead, but I would dive into one of my active opportunities. So I'm getting into a phase, here's a stage, and we've got tasks inside of our stage checklist. And this is where those would show up. So I could say, I'm gonna assign that to myself and I'm gonna make that due tomorrow and let's do it at 4.30 p.m., okay. And now you can see checklist item has been updated. I can close that. If I come back to my tasks and go into opportunity tasks next seven days, you'll see there is that test task that is now associated with that specific opportunity and it even associates the contact that is associated with the opportunity. If I wanted to dive into the opportunity to get the details, I would just click on the opportunity name and I can get in there. If I wanted to dive into the specific contact, I would click on the contact name and it would open it up. And it's in a, uh, that was actually in my team account. So we're in the wrong account, but that's okay. Uh, so that's how we're doing opportunity tasks. The other way for contact tasks is if I'm in the actual contact, so let's say I'm actually in Mike's contact record and I want to call him. And so here's his contact record. I want to remember to follow up. I can click on the task applet, click on add task and go through that same exact process that I just went through earlier. So that's number two for creating a task. We also have smart plans, which we're actually gonna dive into here very soon and tasks are also available inside of smart plans. Whether those are custom smart plans or library-based smart plans, you will see that many of them, let's just take a Keller Williams uh, task here, eight by eight, if I view the steps, and we'll get into this more in the future, but you can see here is a task that would be associated with the eight by eight smart plan. And when I put somebody on this smart plan, uh, day eight, this task would fire for that specific contact. So we'll get into smart plans. I'll show you how to add tasks to smart plans in the future. But for right now, the ability to create a new contact based task from the contacts tab or from in the contact record 
and if i'm going to create an opportunity task i need to do that from my custom checklist inside of the actual opportunity itself that's it for today guys days 12 day 12 excuse me how to create a new task for contacts or opportunities we will be starting smart plans tomorrow so get excited i look forward to seeing you then